Hi, welcome to Clinic Sources Micro Training Videos. Today we're going to be discussing how to email, fax, or dispatch a document from a patient's chart to the recipient. I'm going to go ahead and log into my clinic. The first thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the user profile is set up appropriately for the individual you wish to grant those permissions to. In Setup, I'm going to go to Users and Therapists, Edit My Profile, and in the main user function window, you want to make sure that the ability to send secure messages, which is the ability to email, send fax, or send dispatch is checked off appropriately for the access level of the person in question. In order to send a fax or send a dispatch, sending secure messages must be checked off. The second thing we'd want to do is in setup and facilities, just make sure that the appropriate email, SMTP username, server, and port information is set up for your business. For assistance on setting up this information, we do have another video that will walk you through step by step how to complete it. Once you verify the email is set up and the user has the appropriate permissions, we are ready to fax, email, or dispatch documents. From documentation, simply check off the document or documents that you would like to email or fax. Once the documents are checked off of the patient in question, simply click the email fax button just to the right of the printer in the icon tray. When the window opens, you'll notice the first tab says email. I can simply type in an email address in the two, or just click the box and choose my patient's email if listed on the patient's profile, or the referring doctor's email if a referring doctor is assigned to that patient. Any email address you type here will be saved for future use in the box below. Type in a subject, a message, and for HIPAA compliance, we do password encrypt the attached file. By default, there's two passwords you can choose. Patient social, if listed, in this case 7891 would be the password of the file and the hint that the recipient would receive would be last four digits of patient social number. I can choose patient date of birth and you'll notice the password changes accordingly based on the patient profile. The recipient would also receive a different hint, patient DOB, in the format it needs to be entered. If I was faxing a document, I would simply choose fax at the top. I could enter a fax number or select a box, and by default, we will show the referring provider assigned to the patient's fax number if listed. You can include a cover page with a subject and message. There is no password for faxing. Once complete, simply click send. Finally, you also have the ability to dispatch documents to the patient portal. Documents must be patient level documents. I have an example on the chart, consent for treatment. If I select that document by putting a check mark next to it, click the email fax button, you'll see I have the ability to dispatch documents at the top. When I click on dispatch, I can choose who I'm sending it to, in this case, the patient, with the patient portal. I can assign them actions, either to just view the document, I can have them view the document and fill it out, or I can even have them view, fill it out, and sign. Once you make your appropriate action choices, in our subject line, a message, and click the send button. Then the patient would receive an email alerting them that they have a document waiting to be filled out and completed within the portal. This concludes the walkthrough of emailing, faxing, or dispatching documents out of ClinicSource. Thank you.